Friday, another video on the Cinema 4D uh, experiment, I guess at this point. This is actually for Matt from Maxon Support. Um, this uh, originally started out with Kim at, uh, at Maxon on the Blender channel, on initially installing this. Now you can see right here, I'm going to show you Kim, that Cinema 4D says it's not installed, it says to install it. Uh, this Cinema 4D has been installed on this machine twice already. It's been installed and uninstalled and cleaned up and then it's been installed from a different location on the Mac's website and that didn't work either. So at that point I uninstalled it and cleaned it up because at the, after two tries, I'm going to consider it a fail. Um, I don't know. It's going to take some convincing for me to try this a third time. But um, I'm not, you know, like I said, I got a lot, I've got a lot going on, you know, with 10 YouTube channels and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm not really a three strikes and you're out person. Um, you're lucky to get to two, if you ask me. But um. And I understand, there's, I mean, look at YouTube. There's plenty of people out there that have cinema, uh, cinema 4D installed and are operating it just fine. And that's how software works, people. Trust me, I've been in security for 20 plus years, a security researcher. Um, everybody's computer is different. You People install stuff, uninstall stuff, get malware, clean up malware, and, and I mean, a computer is as individual as a person is. So your computer is, even if you got two computers in your house sitting right next to each other, one is not like the other just because of things that have happened to them. So you can install uh, a piece of software on one and it might not install on the other one just because who knows what, you're going to have to troubleshoot it and figure it out. And that's what's going on here. Now, this is a cloud computer, because like I said, you know, I tell people you know, I do freelance work. And so uh, with 3D and music and audio and animations, you know, and special effects and stuff like that, I need a, a, a lot more powerful computer than I have at home. And so I use a cloud computer, which a lot of people do. A lot of people use cloud computers. A lot of people use cloud rendering. And a lot of studios, big studios have cloud rendering accounts and stuff. And uh, huge storage, you know, of 10, 20, 100 terabytes, you know, that they rent when they're doing a movie and stuff because it takes up space, you know. But that's a long story for this video. This is, like I said, this is in, in support, uh, to answer a support question. He, he wanted a screenshot or something, so I figured I'll do one better. And since every, all this is happening on my YouTube channel here, uh, originally, like I said, Originally started on Blender, but I moved it over to my PC Tech Help channel. Um, first of all, it's just sorry to hear you're still having issues. I cannot see that you have taken out a trial or a license on this email. Well, no, <laughs> I haven't. That's because your software hasn't approved a trial yet. That is the holdup, my friend. Uh, excuse my tone of voice, but um, you know this is all. This, this you know I use software you know to to work with clients. Clients hire me to work with them, and I expect things to work, um, especially at these prices. I will reiterate that again. And like I said, what I was going to say about the cloud computer, you can say, well, you know, it's not working because you installed. You got a cloud computer. Look. I have installed Epic Games on this. I have installed the whole Adobe Suite on this. I've installed Second Life on this. I've got OBS running on it. I've got a tablet software on, running on it. Um, I've installed second, the Second Life Viewer and Firestorm, which is a third party Second Life Viewer. I've installed Houdini. I installed Houdini and had Houdini running in 15, less than 15 minutes.
I was already open and working in Houdini. Um, Blender has been installed. Everything has been installed on this machine with no problem. Now, Daz 3D has not been installed on here. It was it was tried, but we have found out that Daz 3D actually has an internal issue working with the uh, the cloud computer and um, that's that's kind of malware related um, in, in a sense the same not it's not malware but the, the same uh, what's going on under, under the scenes in the code it, it acts around the same. It, it knows it's not on an actual machine it knows that it's on a, a virtual machine if you if you will just like there's some malware out there that can detect if it's being run on a virtual machine, and uh, if, it's, if it does know that it's being run on a virtual machine, then it won't run properly because it, it doesn't want you seeing what it's doing. And th that's the issue with that. And uh, Vagon and, and uh, Daz are working to uh, resolve that. So that's a known problem. But like I said, there's plenty of software that's been installed on this machine with no problem so far. And even add-ons, even Blender add-ons have been added to it. Add-ons for Epic Games, uh, Unreal Engine has been added. So, you know, at this point, I'm not going to say that it's the machine's fault. But, um, uh, now we're back. This is what's happening. I'll show you what's happening. And this is, even though the software is not installed, this is, when the software was installed, both times, this exact same thing happened. When you go up here, it says click try out now. You click try out now. Ready to start your 14 day trial. So I'm gonna click start my 14 day trial. And this is what pops up. Failed to start Maxim One trial. A trial has already been claimed on this machine, and a trial has not been claimed uh, claimed on this machine. And Matt has even said that his first line, his first paragraph in his email. Sorry to hear you're still having issues. I cannot see that you have yet taken out a trial or a license on this email. And right here is my email. So I am logged in to their software. And the software says that I have taken out a trial on this machine. But apparently, Mac and support can't see that there's one taking out on this machine. So there seems to be a discrepancy against Maxon's license app on my machine and the path to Maxon's website somewhere there's a communication getting lost because the app on this machine doesn't know what's going on at Maxon's website and Maxon's website doesn't know what's going on on this machine because the two don't jive if you get my meaning so that is where we stand right now at the and like I said yes yeah for the third time and wasting my time I can click install install cinema 4d yet again and when I go to hit this I hit my start this exact I mean this is going to be a replay even when this is installed this is exactly what's going to happen um, you could say well you know uninstall everything uninstall the, the Maxon app and, and clean out everything and, and, and all that stuff and start all over that is a waste of my time at this point just for a 14-day trial I don't need it don't care for it and at this point you know especially if you don't like my tone we can just move on and um, because what I was planning to do with the 14-day trial for cinema 4d I can just do that with Houdini because I I've never worked with Cinema 4D and I never worked with Houdini before. So I'm learning both programs. So we could just do 
the 14 day trial with Houdini and Houdini is not even a trial I can use that for as long as I want it's Houdini apprentice now it comes with some strict restrictions you know like I gotta use the internal render engine and Houdini and it's got its own file format um, so I can't export you know to like uh, FBX and stuff like that but th this is a teaching channel you know I'm not using Houdini yet you know to work on client projects or anything like that but if I did get hired by a client you know for some special effects or, or something like that I would gladly purchase Houdini because there's no problems with Houdini Houdini is working just fine and you know I I, I tell Vega I tell not Vega <laughs> I say that because I'm sitting here staring at Vagon. I tell Maxon, you know, that I wouldn't pay the price. I wouldn't pay the price for a perpetual license, and you know, especially the monthly price. He says there's a monthly price, um, right here. He says if you wish to take on a 30-day license, you can, you can click the link below, and which is this link right here, and buy one month, one month at a hundred dollars, right there. Similar forty ninety four dollars. I'm just going to round it up and say it's a hundred. Um, with my experience so far, no, thank you. I believe I'll pass on this one. And and then the Max One. Apparently, Cinema 4D won't run without Max One because Max One is the licensing program or licensing app, from what I'm getting, and that's a hundred and forty nine dollars a month. Um, from what I from what I'm seeing on their website if that is not the case then you guys probably need to uh, Make that more clear on there You know don't have someone pay the $94 for cinema 4d and then send them an email and saying well you, you know what cinema 4d doesn't run unless you have the max one app So you have to get the max one app too uh, Yeah <laughs> There is that um, But anyway, whatever um, at this point, Matt, you can uh, answer me back on my email. If I don't get an answer for you in uh, two or three days, then I'm just going to take it that you guys moved on. But um, no, I'm not purchasing it. No, I'm not getting a 30-day trial now at this point. It's either the 14-day trial uh, gets working, uh, one more chance, and... I move on or we can just uh, choose to part ways now um, either way is uh, fine with me at this point so with that I'll uh, like I said this video if you watched this far was just uh, between me and uh, uh, Max Max on support um, if you guys watched the whole video so far and um, hopefully you've been entertained <laughs> And uh, we'll move on. I'll get, we'll get going with the channel here on normal programming, and um, we'll just roll with Houdini and Blender, of course. Even though I got a Blender channel, but I'll do some Blender videos on on PC Tech Help here also. But with that, I'll bid you guys adieu, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you're notified when awesome videos like this get published. Talk to you guys later.